Hey everyone, this is Kenny for Vox, and today I would like to talk about the Vox AC10C1 and using that as a great pedal platform amp. So on the EQ, I have it pretty flat, uh, bass and treble set at noon, gain at nine o'clock, and master volume around 10 o'clock, and the reverb is cut completely. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is uh, just cut the reverb completely out if you're using it as a pedal platform uh, because most of the time you are using a, a different delay or reverb pedal on your pedal board. So a good pedal platform amp basically means a flat EQ has nice and hi-fi sounding uh, amp. Nice low end, nice top end, where it captures all the finesse that all these cool pedals have. So below me, there is my spaceship pedal board here. Voila. Uh, it's got tons of fuzzes, uh, cool couple modulations, reverb delay, a looper, all that stuff, a tuner. You gotta have a tuner. Uh, and like I said, the amp is set real nice and flat. And I'm gonna color this amp with just my pedal board and you get some cool sounds from it. So right off the bat, the amp itself has to sound good, right? Without any pedals. So I've been on my back pickup on my uh, Les Paul here and it sounds like this, just fully dry. <laughs> Tons of nice, clean tone. So now I'm gonna add the delay and reverb. And what I want is just this clean, no crunchy, overdriven clipping at all from the amp uh, when I hit the reverb and delay. if you're into that ambient uh, style music, or if you're playing on a Sunday morning where it has a guitar intro, this sound is perfect for that because it's got nice and full sounding EQ and fullness of the guitar itself. And it's the e reverb and delay is kind of filling up the other uh, frequencies in the sonic space. So now moving on is the fuzzes. I love fuzz, as you can see, there's three or four crazy sounding fuzzes that I uh, acquired over the years. And each fuzzes do sound different. And when you have an amp that's already crunchy or like that crunches out too soon, you can't really hear the characteristics of these uh, really unique fuzzes. So you want something that's really nice and clean and wide in frequency and capable of capturing each of these uh, pedals. So let's start with the Red Noise uh, Stonebender and it sounds like this. Yeah, and then into the BSRI FZZ. So completely different sound, right? And I'm gonna add the other side. I just like doing that. Uh, so that's another cool pedal. And then another one is the Pig Pile uh, by Electro Foods. Completely different sound. But... 
So when you're recording uh, on a session and you want all these different sounds coming out from your pedals and you want something that captures all that characteristics and that small finesse coming from the whether the delay, reverb, or modulation and also the gnarly sounds of the fuzzes, you want something that's really nice and clean that captures an honest sound like the AC-10C1. So uh, I'm gonna showcase some of these pedals uh, with some performance demos uh, after this and check this out uh, right now. Boom. <laughs> So as you can see and hear, this AC-10C1 is a fantastic amp as a pedal platform. It really captures all these little nuances and finesse and these characters and gnarliness of what my pedals are doing. So if you are looking into building a humongous pedal board for the first time, or if you are uh, more of a pedal player per se, and not just going straight into the amp kind of a guy, an AC-10C1 is a fantastic amp for that. So for more information, please visit voxamps.com. Thanks for watching. See ya.